summary let us study what we have learned in this chapter determinant of a matrix a equals a11 1 by 1 is given by a11 is equal to a11 determinant of a matrix a of second order is given by a is equal to a11 into a22 minus a21 into a12 similarly determinant of a matrix a of third order is given by a is equal to a11 into a22 into a33 minus a11 into a32 into a23 minus a12 into a21 into a33 plus a12 into a31 into a23 plus a13 into a21 into a32 minus a13 into a31 into a22 for any square matrix a the determinant a satisfy following properties the determinant of a transpose equals the determinant of a if we interchange any two rows or columns then sign of determinant changes if any two rows or any two columns are identical or proportional then value of determinant is zero if we multiply each element of a row or a column of a determinant by constant k then value of determinant is multiplied by k multiplying a determinant by k means multiplying elements of only one row or one column by k if a is equal to aij 3 by 3 then k into a whole determinant is equal to k cube into determinant of a if elements of a row or a column in a determinant can be expressed as sum of two or more elements then the given determinant can be expressed as a sum of two or more determinants if to each element of a row or a column of a determinant the equi multiples of corresponding elements of other rows or columns are added then value of determinant remains same area of a triangle with vertices x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2 and x3 comma y3 is given by delta is equal to half x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 1 minor of an element aij of the determinant of matrix a is the determinant obtained by deleting ith row and jth column and denoted by mij cofactor of aij is given by aij is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j mij value of determinant of a matrix a is obtained by sum of product of elements of a row or a column with corresponding cofactors for example a is equal to a11 into capital a11 plus a12 into capital a12 plus a13 into capital a13 if elements of one row or column are multiplied with cofactors of elements of any other row or column then their sum is zero for example a11 into capital a21 plus a12 into capital a22 plus a13 into capital a23 equals zero if matrix a is given by aij 3 by 3 then adjoint a equals 
कैपिटल ए आई जे थ्री बाय थ्री वेयर कैपिटल ए आई जे इज को फैक्टर ऑफ ए आई जे ए इंटू एट ज्वाइंट ए इक्वल्स एट ज्वाइंट ए इंटू ए विच इक्वल्स डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए इंटू आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स वेयर ए इज स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर एन अ स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ए इज सेट टू बी सिंगुलर और नॉन सिंगुलर अकॉर्डिंग एज डिटर्मिनेंट ए इक्वल जीरो और डिटर्मिनेंट ए नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो इफ ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी ए इज इक्वल टू आई वेयर बी इज स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स देन बी इज कॉल्ड इनवर्स ऑफ ए ऑल्सो ए इनवर्स इज इक्वल टू बी और B inverse is equal to A, and hence A inverse whole inverse is equal to A. A square matrix A has inverse if and only if A is non-singular. That is, if determinant A is not equal to zero, then A is invertible, and A inverse is equal to one by determinant A. into adjoint a consider the system of equations a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equal to d1 a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to d2 and a3x plus b3y plus c3z is equal to d3 let a be a matrix formed by the coefficients of the variables x y and z and x p a matrix formed by the variables x y z and b b the matrix formed by the constants of the system of equations then the system of equations can be written as a x is equal to b that is in matrix form it can be represented as follows Unique solution of equation a x is equal to b is given by x is equal to a inverse b, where a is not equal to a null matrix. A system of equation is consistent or inconsistent according as its solution exists or not. For a square matrix A in matrix equation. A x is equal to b. If determinant a is not equal to zero, there exists unique solution. If determinant a equals zero and adjoint a into b is not equal to zero, then there exists no solution. And if determinant a is equal to zero and adjoint a into b is equal to 0 then system may or may not be consistent that's all in this chapter hope you have enjoyed it